I just inhaled my hair. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sylvie from High Level Bandanas, and today we're gonna be making a Naruto Shinobi headband. Shinobi? I can't, I can say the word in my head, but I can't say it out loud. Even though I've watched Naruto and Naruto Shippuden in its full entirety, like at least three times. I will be getting right into it, but just before, I do wanna preface with the fact that I also have the written pattern available, and that will be exclusive to Ribbler, so go check that out in the link in the description. If you're anything like me, what is wrong with me and my hair today? If you're anything like me, then you prefer having the written pattern in your face instead of sitting through an entire video. But some people like sitting through an entire video, so here I am, and here you are. All right, I'm done, let's do it. So first off, you're gonna grab your favorite color for the band. I'm grabbing a dark blue just because that's kind of standard across the board in the anime and I couldn't tell you what this is. I did get it at Michael's. It was in my giant wall of yarn here. At this point it's scrap yarn and this is medium weight. I'm also using a five millimeter hook and if you love this one as much as I love this one. Ooh, look I'm doing the influencer thing. This one was custom made by Weasel Works. This is in Bloodwood, which is pretty cool. And then before we do get started, you'll also need some gray yarn. Medium weight is fine as well. And then some black yarn so that we can embroider the village sign. All right, so starting with the band, you'll make your little slip knot and we're going to chain three. Then starting in the second chain from hook, you'll have double crochet too. So I'll show you which one the second chain is. So that would be this one right here. Here. So I'm putting my first half double crochet in that second chain from hook. I'm sorry, this is a little bit hard to tell with my very dark yarn over the pretty much exact same color leggings. And a second half double crochet. And there you go, you've just completed row one. For the next row, you will chain one turn, half double crochet increase in that first stitch. So half double crochet increase is just placing two stitches in one and half double crochet. And then you'll have three stitches in this row. Next, you'll chain one, turn, half double crochet, two. And then in the last stitch, you'll be placing a half double crochet increase. So basically what we're doing is kind of creating that triangle taper that we're gonna have for the headband until we get the width that we want. So for the next one, you guessed it, we're gonna chain one, turn, half double crochet increase in the first stitch, and then half double crochet three. And now you should have five stitches in your row. And then again, chain one, turn, you're gonna half double crochet four, and half double crochet increase in the last stitch. And again, there you go. You can really see it starting to take shape here. We're gonna do two more rows of increasing now. So again, chain one, turn, and this time we're gonna place the half double crochet increase in the first stitch, then half double crochet five, and last one. So chain one, turn, half double crochet six, and then you're gonna place a half double crochet increase in the very last stitch. And that's gonna give you eight stitches in that row total. And there you go. So you can really see it took that kind of like triangle shape for the end. And this eight stitches is gonna be personally wide enough for me um, because this is gonna be the width essentially of the entire headband. So if you put it on your head, ask yourself the question, is this too big? or is this too small? If it's too small, you guys can keep going with the same pattern and place an increase in the same side that we've been placing increases. And if it's too small, feel free to remove a row. All right, this is the part that's gonna be a little bit more time consuming or the most time consuming of it, but you'll just chain one turn and half double crochet across. And you're gonna repeat that essentially until you have the length of headband that you want. And once I get there, I will let you know how many rows I did total. While I do this, let's talk a little bit. Who is your favorite Naruto character? This can be pretty controversial. Mine, right off the top of my head, would probably have to be Shikamaru, just because I love that quote about wanting to be a cloud. Very close second, if not tied for first, is Rock Lee. Actually, Let's put Rock Lee in first place. No, 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 no. You know who my favorite character is? I think it's Suigetsu because he's so funny. He's just kind of unhinged. But let me know in the comments which one your favorite is. Another topic that I don't know if it's controversial or not, but have you watched Boruto? Because I sure have not. I gave it one or two episodes, maybe three, and I just couldn't do it. I think like the movie was okay, but then I was kind of having trouble figuring out how they were gonna fit the timeline of what happened in the movie 
into the anime series just because I thought the movie was so integral to the storyline of how Boruto kind of starts to get along with his father. But maybe I'm gonna stop here so that if you haven't watched it, I don't give you any spoilers. All right, I finally got to the length that I want for it and I did 75 rows, which brings me to a total of 82 rows. So it definitely goes around my head if you're doing this. Just make sure that when you're doing that, you can easily tie it into a bow. I can, and this means that I'm gonna have pretty short tails. If you do want longer tails, or if you want it to tie into a full bow instead of a knot, I definitely would recommend going for like at least 120 rows. And then maybe in the back, you can get like a cute little bow. Very girly, very coquette. We will now be starting to decrease again so that we can taper this side. So you're gonna chain one, turn, and then we're gonna start with just six half double crochet across. So there will be two stitches left in your row. And then in the last two stitches, we're gonna be placing a half double crochet two together. For a half double crochet two together, what we're gonna do is yarn over, insert your hook through that first stitch, yarn over, pull through. You'll now have three loops on your hook, then you'll insert your hook into the last stitch here, yarn over, pull through, and now there is four loops on your hook, just yarn over and pull through all four. So we're gonna chain one, turn, and you're gonna put a half double crochet two together in the first two stitches like this. So just one half double crochet two together, and then five, half double crochets to finish the row. And we're gonna keep going with that pattern. So basically it's just chain one, turn, you're gonna half double crochet across until you have two stitches left and place a half double crochet two together. Chain one, turn, half double crochet two together, and then half double crochet across your row. So we're gonna keep doing that until we are back to two stitches. All right, I'm at my last row, which finishes with a half double crochet two together, half double crochet, and that gives me two stitches. Now what I'm gonna do is tie off and weave in all my ends, which there's just two. There's just this one and then the one from the beginning. We're gonna grab some gray yarn and make the metal portion of the headband. So with your gray yarn, you will do a little slip knot and then we're gonna chain four. Then starting in the second chain from hook, like I showed you guys earlier, and this time we're gonna be doing single crochet. So starting in the second chain from hook, you're gonna single crochet across, which will give you three stitches in this row. Now we're gonna have to start sort of increasing it. So what you're gonna do is chain one, turn, you're used to this by now. And we're gonna place a single crochet increase in the first stitch, single crochet the middle one, and single crochet increase in the last, in the last stitch. You'll have five stitches in your row. Now chain one turn, and we're just gonna do a row of single crochet across. So again, just five stitches. I think that's all we're gonna do. We're just gonna leave it at five. Since we are gonna leave it at five, you'll just do rows of chain one turn and five single crochet across until you get your desired length for the middle piece of your headband. So again, once I'm done, I'll come back and let you know how many I did so that you can do the same amount. Unless of course you have the written pattern, then you can see it there. All right, here it is. I did 14 rows of single crochet across, which gives me a total of 16 rows. So now what we're gonna do is of course chain one and turn, and you're gonna do a single crochet two together, single crochet, and single crochet two together, which leaves you with three stitches. Chain one, turn, and single crochet three. And that's it. Now what you're gonna do is before you tie off, just make sure that you leave a very long tail because we're gonna wanna be sewing this on. Mine is definitely obnoxiously long, but better safe than sorry. It's time to grab your black yarn because it's time to embroider. I'm no embroidering expert, but for this, what I'm gonna do here is just cut a decently long piece of black yarn. I'll have a photo here, feel free to screenshot. It's also in the written pattern, but these are the village symbols that you can do, but feel free to create your own. And if you do create your own, definitely tag me because I would absolutely love to see that. I'm gonna be doing the leaf village symbol. I'm just freehanding. If you guys have chalk or even a black Sharpie, honestly, who cares, or washable Crayola marker, that's what you need. I do definitely recommend <laughs> probably drawing it on here first, but whatever. It's totally fine. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> this looks really good. I cannot even believe that I just did that, that I did that. You know what this is. It doesn't look perfect, but it, 
it looks like what it's supposed to look like. And then the last thing that I'm gonna wanna embroider here is the three little like dots that they have on either side in the anime. I think it's like nails or something. The last step is just time to sew this on. So use your yarn tail, use your yarn needle, find the middle of your headband and get sewing. I'm just going from the front through to the back. It's nothing crazy. So I will spare you the boredom and I will skip flash forward to being done. And that is it guys, I hope you enjoyed this super easy tutorial for a super quick cosplay or honestly, if you wanna go walking and you need something to warm your ears up, this works too. And a reminder that you can find the written pattern exclusively on Ribbler. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Honestly, I feel like saw sorry when I'm doing. <laughs>